Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. Today we're going to talk about avoiding or resolving misrepresentation. Misrepresentation refers to trust-related signals that are inconsistent with the actual physical operation of your business. For example, inconsistencies can arise if your actual business location does not align with the information provided on your website, Google Merchant Center, public social media profiles or other connected accounts. This can also happen if you operate your business in one geographic region but claim that your corporate entity is based in another, for example setting up a virtual LLC. Failing to provide an official business name or having different names across the web is another form of misrepresentation. Setting up a virtual address in a location where your company does not operate. The overall quality of your website can be a form of misrepresentation too. It's important to improve your website and fill it with original high quality content. Copying information from other websites is not only unethical, but it can also harm your business reputation. Including social links such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and others is an essential trust indicator to, for your business. Also ensure that the business details within these platforms match your website and Google Merchant Center. Other trust indicators include Google Business Profile, BBB accreditation, genuine customer reviews and certificates from official third-party sources. Neglecting to include essential policies in your footer such as privacy, terms and conditions, returns and refund, shipping, contact, disclaimer and payment details. Advertising a discounted price for an item that is not being sold at its original price in recent history can also lead to misrepresentation. Not having an original About Us page, failure to maintain inventory or lack of knowledge about stock levels and limited contact methods can all contribute to misrepresentation. Using placeholder text or images having redirect or broken links. Make sure if you have an article in your blog about your products that this is shared with your users. Remember any discrepancy on your website or Google Merchant Center account that deviates from the absolute truthfulness can be perceived as misleading and can lead to a suspension. Avoiding misrepresentation is key to building trust with your customers and establishing a successful business. So make sure your business details align with reality and all the information is clear, truthful and accessible. These are the main points and potential reasons for your suspension regarding misrepresentation. I hope this video clears up the basics and help you understand the necessary steps you need to take. 